singer. I'm not gonna say I start off with the melody first or I start off with the drums first. I just go based off of the feel. Like there's no go-to way. I just kind of go off the feel. And uh, VST that I'm currently finna use right now to start off is the uh, Core Triton VST. Uh, it's just like the keyboard, the Core Triton. If anybody, any of my OG keyboard members out there that know. Core Triton has a lot, a lot of sounds on it. Early on, man, the Neptune should definitely use that keyboard to make a lot of their beats. To give me all the heads up on what that is. So that's what we're gonna use. So what I'm looking for is the deep piano sound. I love the piano sound.
told y'all, watch for the switch, nah. So this is my basic, this is like my foundation of how I started the beat song, but it's always a twist to it, so y'all stay tuned, man. We just getting started a little bit. Just getting started a little bit. Not, 
we're gonna go back to it. See how that switch came in that beat sound? Stupid nigga. Pretty much just played out. So we got the piano sound, and I switched up with a little simple lead type sound in the background, real ambient low sound. Then I got a brass going off, and then I got two pad sounds that's pretty much stacked on top. Now, are we still recording? Yeah, we still enough. So with those five, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make this bit sound full. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make this shit sound full. Just bear with me, man. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Too, uh, using the FL Studio 21, um, which I'm not sure exactly how far this go back, but I know that you can uh, favorite sounds, so you can have your whole bank filled up with sounds that you know, it's like your go-to sounds. I don't recommend using these sounds on every beat. As producers, you know, we tend to go towards whatever sound is popular right now. Like if it's a certain trend sound, a lot of producers follow that. And study other producers too, man, which we all living in the world when it comes down in the production world where everything, everybody pretty much got drum kits of this producer and that producer and all that shit and that originated from another producer. Nothing's new under the song, but it's how you present it. So what I do recommend is find some sounds, make your sound stand out, and that shit gonna carry you for a long time. That's just my take on that. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, fuck what I'm talking about. some of that shit um, because of the simple fact that it does speed your workflow up. You already hear how you want your hi-hats chopped up and they have literally every type of hi-hat. And the only reason why I say purchase this shit because it speeds the workflow up. If you're currently in the studio with artists and like say if the manager or anybody in there wants you to make a beat on the spot, man, you wanna, you gotta think of everything like it's time. You know, that studio time, it costs everything is there. So, Speed up your process and whatever help you speed up your workflow, man, I'd highly recommend you do that type of shit. So in my mind, I already know how I want my high hats and then shit is right there for me. Speed my process up like that, man. But if you don't agree with what I'm saying, fuck what I'm saying.
time to look full. So that's what we're going to do. shit up and do it how you want. Uh, I would love to put a little 808 spin on her, man, but then I kind of feel like, nah, man, 
man, that'll be doing too much. And I don't like to do too, too much when it comes down to my 808s, man. A lot of people do crazy 808 rolls, which would be dope as fuck, man. But you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it just because, man. I'm going to show y'all what this cypher 808 uh, little fragments they have in there that you can use for your beats, man. And it is just watch, man. Cypher pack, man. We're gonna go into the 808s. We're gonna go into uh, a basic roll. So let's see how this come out. We're gonna see how this come out, man. to the beat, man. I think that when you overthinking and you put too much in there, that's when that shit start to sound a little muddy, man. So, and we did this, uh, let's see what that time is on, uh, about 20 minutes, 28 minutes, about 28 minutes, um, which is real good, decent time, uh, and at the same time, to say if I was in a studio session where the artist needed the beat right there, I just cooked this up in about like 28 minutes, and, and I mean, it's all about your workflow, man. Just be creative, do what you do. You know, don't let nobody tell you how to do you. And one thing I would like to add on too, man, because I get this a lot. To all my producers out there, and I'm gonna turn around because I want y'all to understand this too. To all my producers out there, don't be afraid to stand firm on your sign. As producers, we get pulled in so many different directions, man. People come to us and say, hey, I want a beat like this. I want a beat like this artist. I want this type of beat. At the end of the day, man, if you want that type of beat, go find that type of producer. Do you, and I guarantee you, man, that shit gonna last, it's gonna stick. It's gonna take a little bit more groundwork, but it's gonna work for you, trust me, man. Just stand firm on your sound. Believe in your sound. Know what you bring to the table, and I guarantee you, your value gonna go up. So we just cooked up in the kitchen, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in with me, man. And uh, this is the first time I let y'all into a session with me, man, so. Uh, we're gonna definitely keep these things going. We're gonna definitely keep these uh, sessions going like that. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I appreciate y'all time, man. And as always, big love to everybody. Stand firm on you and stay true to who you are. Y'all have a great one, man. We just kicked out in the kitchen. We just vibed out real quick. Your boy Santana Banger, we out, man.